Good evening and welcome back to Astroneer Hardcore. I'm Modi Apparatus. The rules of hardcore are, first of all, one life to live. Dead is dead, unless it's a glitch or that kind of thing. But we get no regeneration, no respawns, one life to live. Second rule is that we only get one set of tethers to connect us to our power and our air. And then another rule is no trade platform. And then the other rule is no fuel condenser. So we have to explore to find any fuel we need. We can't just generate it from thin energy from the air. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me once again. Uh, we are going to go to Baron today, our first interplanetary mission. But we need to do some packing. We need to do a lot of packing. I need all these beacons to be taken off of here. Uh, I'm just going to set the beacons on the ground here. We're going to have this place just flooded with beacons. There will be no question about where we live um, based on this. I'm going to take along the this storage pod, I think, because this is some nice power generation on it. I can take that... You know, slap it on uh, something. Uh, I'll make like a, one of the nodes here. I'll, I'll slap that on there, and it'll generate lots of power for us um, for the outset here. And we don't have to build a lot of uh, we don't have to build a lot of things then right away then uh, a lot of platforms right away. But we probably will want some. Uh, now all of our resin supply is going to be pretty much gone here. I'm going to try to take as much as I can on our first trip here. Now let's see. We have the we have the spaceship set up over there right now. It's got a habitat on it, plus the one big storage that can hold four small storages. So four, four small storages full of resin to start with here. And then we need to decide if we want to build a second habitat, if we want to build a larger storage thing on it. Uh, we could do either or both. Um, what I found out is that, oh, I thought I, thought I could use the uh, the regular t uh, car seat for the, for the uh, spaceship. But uh, it won't actually let us take off with that one. So it, it is smart enough to not let us use that. So we either got to make a choice. We either got to build the one-seater on there, which will burn, well, about half of the half the thing, basically. Because it's going to take up two panels on there, and then it's going to take up, then we can't put another, my, my big question is if we want to put another big storage on there. Um, if we put another big storage on there, then we can hold even more stuff, and it'll be better for, I think that's probably the way to do it. And then what we can do is bring a habitat and a second habitat, one to take off and land with, and one to uh, one to use as the base. We can also build off of the spaceship, which is something I've never really done on this series before, or any of my series before, but uh, it does work. The only problem is that once you build off of it once, you can't build off of it ever again. So um, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to burn that ability just in case we need it for an emergency later. Given that this is hardcore, I'm not going to take any like frivolous chances, even though I have taken many already to this point. But I don't think we need to in this case. Someone said that I should. I think it was uh, Ald Ad Adoner uh, was his name or her name. I'm not sure. Um, they said that we should not stack up stuff like this because the physics of it, it's going to end up pushing some stuff underground eventually. Um, and I, I agree. I think it is uh, constantly bouncing there. And so the physics, well, first of all, the physics is probably, you know, wearing on the system a little bit more because uh, it's constantly got to calculate a bunch of resin things piled on top of each other. But then also, um, you know, there's a chance we might lose some resources if we leave it like that. So I don't, I don't want to have to have storages for everything, though. Uh, they did suggest using, making a resin moat, though. So I have, I have the beginnings of a resin moat over here. Um, which will will we'll transfer from the holes here, and then we can have it laid out more, so it's not bouncing constantly, and it can find a kind of find a resting place, and that should stop it from falling through the world, hopefully, if that if that was going to happen. So okay, we have our our main storage now filled up with resin, or we will in just a moment. Uh, the our question is, do we want to build another storage on then? Which means we're gonna have to go out quick and get some more uh, compound, or. Do I? I mean, having having a having two storages on a spaceship would be awesome. We'll need to bring. We'll need wherever we go. We'll definitely want to make sec two habitats to drive the thing. But um, yeah, that might be that might be pretty cool to have a whole have a whole have a whole thing made of storage, and then use the habitats to take off and land. We can we can definitely use them from. Whoa, actually, you know I don't know that for sure. Let's do a little test here, quick. Come on. Let's make sure we can take off and land with it on there like that. Because uh, if it's not going to let us take off when it's sitting here, then it's going to be a problem. Okay, cool. And so that, as long as that works, we're good. And I'll waste a little bit of fuel, but we have plenty right now. Um, <clears throat> so we'll make we'll put a second storage on this one. 
We'll take two habitats with us. That leaves six full storages of stuff. So that means we'll have five storages full of resin, and then one storage with our power on it. Uh, let's get back home here. Which one is it going to be? Oh, it's the one with all the beacons. So, yeah, my original plan for Terran, as you can see right here, is going to be visiting all these beacons that I've placed and collecting them. I don't know. Based on our lost um, trip we had last episode, I don't know if that's even feasible. Because we'll get so turned around if there's beacons everywhere. Uh, and as we start collecting them, well, maybe, I don't know. We can also, once we discover some things, we can start seeing them from space, actually. The uh, little spots there. Um, which is interesting. I wonder if that continues if we move them. If we were able to move, like, that, that spaceship or dropship there. If we could see it from, uh, if we could make our base more visible, maybe. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to, like, grab that stuff up. It looks, there's one right there. So, yeah, it does look like they load, uh, from space here. Alright, let's get landed. And this should drop us right where we want to be. But, yeah, I don't know. I haven't found, I haven't figured out if that's a good mission for Terran or not. It seems a little... I, li I like the nature of it because it's, it's a little scavenger hunty, but I feel I don't want to get lost again, is the big thing. Now, people are giving me some good tips for finding the base. They said to just try to drive below the Milky Way here. Um, and that gives us, like, the band around the planet, so we know our base is right below this. As long as we keep following the Milky Way, we'll eventually, eventually come back to where the base is, no matter where we are. As long as we drive towards it and then drive underneath it, um, we'll find it. So I think that's a good navigation point. Uh, we never really, really thought about uh, where where our uh, navigation points are. And then they also said the Baron kind of orbits right across our equator as well. So, you know, we can we can kind of figure out where we are, because the Milky Way is going one direction, Baron's going a different direction. So no matter where we are, using those two points of reference, we can probably figure out where we are and figure out if we need to go north or south. Um, we just got to remember where it is in relation to our base. So we need to know that it's going... Uh, Baron goes east to west. And... The Milky Way goes west to east when it rotates. There we go. So that, that might actually help us navigate. And then maybe maybe the mission won't be so bad. It'll be a little bit of a little be a little bit of amateur cartography kind of thing and uh, exploring. That sounds like fun. All right, so we got that built over there. So if we want to build a second storage on here, uh, we need four compound, and then we need two more compound for another habitat. So we can take two habitats with us. And it'll bring two habitats, one for landing and one for taking back home. Just because I don't want to have to find compound in case we need to run back for any reason. And then uh, we can have five storages on. Let's put the storage on there right away. Actually, no, we need the storage on the truck so we can drive around for a minute. Let's go find some compound. Should be too tough. Compound is just about everywhere. You can pick a direction, drive, and eventually you'll find compound. Um, do we want to bring any power generation beyond what we have right now? That means we will have to build... Wait, we lost our speaking power generation. We just lost our, uh, our thing here. It seems like it's very, uh, it falls off all the time when you're near base because it's trying to connect the front end of the car here to one of those little connections on the the platforms. Um, and that's what's making it fall off, I think. Otherwise, it stays on pretty solidly. Like, there's no reason it's like that brittle. But, um, yeah. So, let's head this way. Power generation is working. And, yeah, so we didn't bring any storages with us for extra compound, but we can have what's in our pack. Well, will that be enough? We can put four in the back here, plus four in my pack, roughly. Here we go, right here. Is that gonna be enough? We need, we need four for these. We need four for the storage, two for the habitat. So we need six total. And I have one in my pack already, so that's a step in the right direction. Oh, actually, I have two in my pack because I have one down here. So that's we're already we're already a third of the way there. Um. All right, let's gather, gather it all. All right, it's falling off already. That's good. Got plenty then. Now, someone said, if I go underground, I should be able to find large deposits of stuff, and I think that's a good idea. Just, uh, getting underground for a character is a little tough, sometimes. Uh, are we starting to draw power from the... Oh, no, we're drawing power when we mine, we're drawing power from the car, I think. Uh, no, it's hard to say. Alright, well, let's put this stuff on the, the rover here, on the truck here. I'll pick up whatever we didn't grab here. And is there any more? We need like just a little bit more to get one more. Anything? We might have, we might have got it already. All right, that should be enough though. We have five. We have we have six. That's what I wanted, right? We have more than six. Oh, I love I love how this looks with all of the beacons over there. Okay, I I might just leave the beacons on the ground now because I love that so much. Uh, we need to bring one beacon with us, or one or two beacons with us, um, 
because I want to mark where we stop our uh, our, our uh, chain. I don't think we'll be able to see it from space. Um, what we're going to be doing on Baron is we're going to be making a ring around the planet. Now, we'll be getting as far as we can this episode. Um, see, again, this thing popped right off. Uh, we'll be getting as far as we can this episode. But, um, yeah, we will need to... Uh, That, that, then, I can, then I can shift click everything. Uh, okay, so storage is going on. All right, then we need the habitat. And uh, compound, compound. That already got used up, okay. Those are the last two compounds. Perfect. And they'll take this and throw this on here. And I will connect this. And it'll start charging those up. Just so we've got full batteries when we leave. Uh, and then we need to throw the resin on the ship. Uh, we need one more compound for here. Let's see. We need a habitat more than we need a compound. Or more than more or than we need another storage. Let's do that. Worst case scenario, we take that, that wind turbine with us. Instead of another storage. Oh, we got a uh, sandstorm coming up here. I'm going to quickly throw the habitat on here. Oh, God. Get on there. Okay. And let's hop in the car. All right, the storm has passed. How do we do on collecting up our resin here? We have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven left. Uh, do I want to really take all, everything I have? How much compound do I have left? None. Okay. Um, another storage would take more compound. So what we can do is we could take this with us for power generation. And then we have more power generation on the on the surface than two. Uh, we probably have plenty with the uh, well, do we have, is there wind on Baron? I don't know, we'll find out. I don't know if there's, I don't think there's sandstorms on Baron. Maybe the, maybe the game doesn't treat it as having an atmosphere. Um, I don't know for sure. We'll see. Now we guys gotta load everything else up. And it'll be packed up for our trip. Oh man, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, so eight storages. How far is this gonna get us? Uh, let's see. No, no, four storages with, with four on each or eight on each. So that's 32. That's, that's not as much as it sounds like, is it? It's, we're gonna get like eight nodes, right? No, we need one one per node, so we're okay there. Well, that'll be plenty actually, uh, as long as we don't build any platforms. If we start building platforms, then we're gonna take up more. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid building as few platforms as possible. The only ones we might build are the printer, once we have some copper found, and a smelter so we can make copper. That might be it. Is that all the spots? Yeah, it is. It is all the spots. Um, one more storage with the compound or this thing here. Can I put this on here? No, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta gotta make a choice there. Power, more more power or uh, more compound or more resin. I think we'll stick with what we have right now. I think it'll look pretty good. Okay, let's uh let's get our cover shot for the, uh, the expedition here. Let's get our nice screenshot in the background here. Look looks nice. Here we go. This is the one right here. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, that's 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 our that's our cover for this uh, this episode, the thumbnail here. I love it. All right, cool. Uh, let's get up there and uh, let's get the let's take the skies, man. We have plenty of fuel. All right, we take an extreme mission to Baron. Let's do it. Oh, this looks good. Looking really good. I f I feel I feel prepared. Taking off for Baron. Uh, okay, so where is Baron here? Oh, let's get to the bigger map. And this is... Baron! Oh, wait. Isn't it weird? It's, it's, uh... Okay, there it is, Baron. Okay. There's Exotic. Everything's really close. I love that. I love that. Uh, we can almost hit all six planets here, just like that. Okay. Well, as you can see, Baron is tiny. It's gonna seem a lot bigger in a minute once we uh, land on it, but uh, yeah, it should be really, really cool. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice big crater right there. Oh, how cool that be to park next to a crater. Look at this. The, the plants are gonna like intersect here. Looks like. Look at that. The tundra's right there. Uh, so the crater is. Oh, uh, there is a. Oh, I think this is not loading. Oh, look at this size crater. Holy cow! How cool is that? Okay. 
Um, I think what we'll do is go right here, and then we'll that, we'll, we'll take ourselves right past that crater. That looks cool. Otherwise, we wait for this one over here, and we or we're just a little bit ways away from it. Uh, this one looks closer to the crater. Let's do that. I want to check that thing out. How cool would it be to build a base in a crater? We're through the planet. Okay. Now you've broken my realism. Thanks a lot, game. Uh, why did you go through the planet like that? Holy cow, look how close the planet is still. And it looks like we got some resources nearby. This should be pretty cool. This should be really cool. Uh, let's... Exit. And it's one small step for Modi. One giant leap for Modi kind. Uh, we gotta make sure we don't get too far from our base here at the outset. Uh, let's actually put some tethers down. We brought our tethers with us. Now the question is, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a sandstorm on, uh, on Baron. Not sure. Okay, so. We need to pick a direction. I mean, if this is where we're going to start. Do we want to go this way around it? We probably want to have, like, the planet in view. Like, plus the planet's always in view, isn't it? And we're orbiting it. It's like a star. It's like our sun. And it doesn't ever set. So, um, or it might set, really. But, is, there, is it, actually, is it? Is it like uh, like our moon on our planet where it's um, what is it called like uh, geo geosynchronous or whatever? So like it's always facing the same side of the planet always. Doesn't that look weird? I think it's orbiting like that. I can't tell if we're moving as one or if it's moving for if this is rotating a little bit faster. You know what? I can see from the clouds it's moving a little bit faster. So that's interesting. But still, really cool. Okay, I think what we want to do then is build with that in mind because it looks like we are not. The planet might be rotating, but we're not rotating around it as much as it's rotating, maybe. It's hard to say, but, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool, man. I love, like, we can see all the planets from Baron. Okay, so we're going to build this direction. This is going to be our way to go. Okay, let's put that in the habitat. And we're going to go like this, right? Right. Right here. Boom. All right, we claim this land in the name of Modi. All right, so now we got to figure out direction here. Let's pop this off here. And first of all, which way are we going here? This is going to be tricky if we're not going north-south. Um, I think north-south works for me. But we got to be... Uh, see, we're not lining up quite with the planet, though. Uh, the directions aren't lining up quite right. So let's see here quick. If we get going... We go this way. This is north-south. Is that lined up with the planet that well? Not really. I want. I kind of want it to be underneath the planet, so that's gonna get trickier. But um, you know what? I think we'll just go with it. Let's. So we're gonna be building. We're gonna be building more complicated here. We're gonna be building uh, north, north northwest is where we're gonna be building basically. Yeah, we're gonna be building this direction. Uh, it's like north north northwest. This is a shade off of north. Is the, is the key there. I guess as long as we build straight, it doesn't matter. Because this is drifting, though. I don't like that. What's it drifting? See it? It's drifting. That's going to make things tough. Is it going to stop drifting at some point? It doesn't usually do that, does it? It doesn't usually do that. Alright, let's grab our stuff. All right, let's hold still. Is it drifting because we're moving? No, this is drifting because it's drifting. Let's start here. Let's wait for it to be lined up here. That's going to be a tricky operation, isn't it? Wait, are we moving? You know what? I think the planet is orbiting more than I think it is. So we should probably just stick with the north or south because um, building building towards the planet that's moving, it's not going to be easy. Because uh, now look at it, it's... it's uh, Southeast now. Yeah, that's not right. It wasn't. It wasn't like that before. So okay, we'll just build north south then. And we'll have a nice view of the planet where we, where we are. Uh, so let's get let's get lined up here for north south. We're gonna go east west. Let's go east west. So that's gonna take us through. Well, I don't want to hit our lander though. Let's see, because if we go if we go. Yeah, we might end up hitting our lander. Hmm. Well. We can always build a different docking bay eventually. 
Uh, once we have more resources. Don't you drift. Don't you drift. Seriously. Okay, we gotta be quick when we click this thing then. Otherwise, it's gonna really not straight. We wanna try to make this thing as straight as possible. Our very first node should be straight. Or we just build it and then see where we're at. Okay, which direction are we going here? This is pretty much east-west. Okay, so we're gonna head east then. Uh, is this gonna come off straight now? Okay, so the next one's come off straight at least. So that'll be easier. Um, that'll be better. So yeah, off the hut, off the hab it was bad, but now that it's got one there, um, uh, let's do that, and then we'll take this with us, and uh, we'll bring. Should we bring all of them down? Let's do all of them. Now my risk is that we might lose a storage into the ground or something like that, and then we'd be in trouble. As I said though, I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen a sandstorm on Baron. I think Baron might not have atmosphere. In which case, our wind thing is not going to be useful. That's spinning, though, so there's some wind here. It's a slow trickle charge of wind. Okay. All right. So we'll start building. All right, let's let's uh, let's make a line. It'll be super interesting. Straight lines. We're not going to get too far on the planet, are we? <laughs> this is going to take forever. It's gonna look cool though. I mean, it already looks kind of cool. It's gonna be a problem is when we start hitting into mountains and stuff. Okay, we need to like um, leave this behind. I'm thinking about leaving my tethers behind too. And then uh, the battery we don't need right now. Not right now. Uh, how how bad do I want to give up my oxygen? I mean, we're not gonna need it. We can, we can build a lot more if we don't take that stuff with us. All right. It's a risk. It's a risk. We have no tethers, nothing nothing out here. Um, if we run into problems, I'll just dig a hole quick. If there is a sandstorm, as, as I said, I've never seen a sandstorm here, but you never know. And uh, we'll just keep going this way. We're going to hit our first obstacle right here, actually, which will be a problem. Okay. Keep it coming. If we get that line straight, we can really, uh, you can really see it nicely. Well, that line's looking pretty good. Is this one off a little bit? Nah, it's pretty good. Yeah, see, we hit this thing here, and it's it's gonna be a problem. It's a risk. We're gonna have to take a little detour around it, probably. Or build through it, maybe? We'll see what it, if it lets us build through it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna let us build through it. Well, that's unfortunate. We can't really do anything about this either. In later, uh, in the next update, we should be able to blow this up with a, a, a dynamite. Um, look how cool that looks. When I go, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> All the things follow me no matter where I am. Oh, that's so good. But we've hit a dead end. What the heck do we do now? Okay, we gotta go around it. So we gotta go like this, and then we gotta go like this. First of all, get this rock out of the way. We gotta try to get this angle just right. It's gonna be unlikely. This is what's gonna throw us off. That's probably as good as we can hope for. And we'll get this level a little bit. And we don't want to do that all the way, but um, yeah, that's as good as we can hope for, I think. Is that all my resin? Not quite yet. We're still got more. This is gonna be easy, guys. <laughs> yeah, I say that now. Look how good this looks, though. Oh, it's even loaded back there. Okay, so this is obviously is gonna induce some serious lag eventually. Uh, I mean, this might be the only project we can do in this game because uh, the lag will get so unbearable once we start building more projects like this. Uh, it's cool, though. I'll give it that. Okay, we got that done. Um, not too bad. A little little detour there was not not a problem though. All right, let's grab some more. This is things gonna be awesome. I could say that right now. This is gonna be really cool. And we're gonna put these on here for now. Put you on here for now. And um, that's all we can hold, right? Cool. Love it. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be really really good. We gotta make sure we don't try to explore it all right now though, because. Oh, there's new researches here, though. Not that we need any more research or anything. I 
keep hearing wind and thinking it's a sandstorm coming. Oh, we're not quite straight, are we, anymore? Oh, look at that. We blew it just a little bit. All right, well, we'll do the best we can. We'll do the best we can. Now, the only thing I'm not considering, though, is that we're not at the, like, an equator. I don't know if we can, if we're going to end up, like, going east. I guess as long as we keep going straight is the trick. I mean, if we're following directions, like east and west, uh, then we might end up getting a, a weird circle thing around this. But as long as we stay straight like this, reasonably straight, you can already tell we broke the line here because of that little detour there. But it's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, we're going to see how far off we get at the end. It's pretty good. There's no uh, taking back things, but anyways, uh, I was talking about the next patch. There's a 1-2-2 patch available in the experimental mode, what they're calling experimental. Um, you can test it out and try out the new features. Uh, I just did a little bit off camera here, um, just to see what I could see. There's some new structures that I found. It's pretty awesome. New racks, they're called. Um, so like new things we can find. They look really cool. Uh, if you guys have been watching the streams at all that they do on Twitch, uh, they've been building some of this stuff on Twitch. They don't play the game, they just build, uh, they do game dev on Twitch, which is, which is amazing. And they show you the process for building this stuff, and it's really, really cool. So we've seen some of the wrecks already that they've been working on. Um, and uh, yeah, so some of them are in the game now. It's going to be awesome. So, did I bring that beacon with me? I did not, did I? I was going to bring a beacon with us so that we could... Uh, so that we could put at least a beacon down so we can see from space how far we got. Uh, maybe we'll find some compound randomly as we go here. I don't think I brought anything else with me. Yeah, I did not. I should have thrown a beacon on here because there's an open slot there. Yep, I should have done that. Oh well. Um, okay, so. That's all of our... That's already all of our uh, resin. That's the last bit of our resin. That didn't last very long. That did not last very long at all. Um, but it's the start here. Oh, there's a little bit more there. There's three more there. Okay, good. Okay, that's why I gotta check. Uh, which means we'll head back home here once we're done with this project. What, what we can do right now, and we'll just gather more resin. Maybe we'll do a little exploring around here after that. Uh, let's see. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's get down to the end of our line here. Finish this up here, and then uh, maybe we'll do with some quick exploring to see if we can find some compound. And then we'll uh, wrap this episode up here. Are we out? Just like that, our project is over. Alright, so I don't see any beacon, I don't see any compound around here for a beacon. Since we're not going to be able to find compound, you look at the ready here. I'll run home, get ourselves a beacon, then come back and place it at the end of the thing here, and then we can see from space how far we got. Alright, I got a few more pieces of resin here too, to finish up our thing here for today. Um, let's put it on. We're going to have another problem right here also. And, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be good. So, we gotta go around it this way now. The only problem is, it looks like it's so wide that I don't think we're gonna be able to get around it as easily that way as we could this way. So, I'm gonna have to go this way again around it. Um, and hopefully we can find our way back. So, we're gonna try to go 45 degrees as we did before. Off of there. And then 45 degrees back. So, 90 degree angle. And that should bring us back to where we were, hopefully. Oh, we don't have it. We don't, we're out of resin. Okay, well, what we'll do is place the beacon here, uh, and then we can see from space how far we got around the planet. I hope I hope it's significant enough that it uh, doesn't feel like it's going to take forever. It is a long road back, so I'll take a quick cut here and, and run, run back along the road here, but man, it, it feels longer. It feels like a long way. Um, but I'm sure if we were on a truck, this wouldn't be very far at all. Then again, Baron's not that big, so, you know, look how good it looks, though. Looks so good. Oh, we can't even see it. Oh, disappointing. It's about here, I think, because I can kind of see it from the spa from space. Those little black dots stop right about there. So we made it like an eighth way, way eighth of the way around the planet. Uh, not very good. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I, uh, I don't want to have to land again and burn more fuel. Is the thing. Um, I think what we'll do now is head back to Terran and call it an episode. Uh, we'll we'll keep working on this though. Once we get another big supply of, once we get another big supply of uh, stuff, we can we can try this again. Yeah, so we'll head back to Terran now, and, uh, yeah, I'll call it an episode right there. So thank you guys so much for watching the beginnings of my ring base for Baron. I'll be back for another episode really, really soon. I took a few days off in between here just because I've been working on other projects, and that's going to happen occasionally. I'll be doing this at least once or twice a week, and, uh, we'll stick with the program and see how far we can get. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for another episode really, really soon. Have a good night.